this wash day is a hot mess, okay? Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. Today I'll be doing a fall slash winter wash day routine. I mean, true tea. It's my normal routine, but it's fall, as you can see from my background. So, we can call her a fall routine. Honestly, my routine doesn't really switch up very much because I always gear my routine towards moisture. And we especially need moisture during the colder season. It's break outside randomly today, so this is going to be the perfect routine for you. I will be using products that I purchased at Target. I honestly don't shop at Target very much because a lot of brands at Target I don't bang with or support anymore, so it was interesting. But I wanted to give y'all some options Per usual, no pressure, but if you do like something I featured today, clicking the link in my description box really does help my channel. It doesn't cost you an extra dime, sis, but it really does help my channel a lot more than you will ever know. If you are new here and you like what you see, definitely feel free to subscribe. I wouldn't mind that at all. Give this video a thumbs up because that helps my channel a lot too. And you know, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss this black excellence on your feed, honey. Okay. I also want to quickly say that I am launching a private exclusive community. I'm not going to give away too many details in this video, but definitely keep your eyes out. It's going to be very limited. It's not going to be a lot of people who will be talking about natural hair, We'll be talking about fashion. We'll be talking about all the tea on everything. But it's going to be a small, small group of people. So definitely, you know, get ready for it. I'm going to be going live on there once a week. I'll be sharing insider information, exclusive content. All that information is only going to be in my community. It's not going to be shared here on YouTube. So yeah, I'm really excited for it and I hope you are too. Anyway, this intro has been way too long. Let's get into it. My hair is literally just the result of having my hair in twist for a week. I didn't do anything but re-moisturize them. So this is a week later. It's giving flakes, it's giving aspen. But it's also giving definition, so. Almost too much definition, so I'm going to try to attempt, as an attempt, to detangle my hair with my rice water leave-in. A light finger detangle, nothing serious, just to get out some of the definition, because I'm going in with the Ayurvedic mask. All right, so now we're going to go into the application of my Ayurvedic treatment. I don't have a video on this, but I do have a similar-ish recipe on my channel already. So if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. This is a combination of Amla and Bringraj, which are ugh. this is a combination of Amla and Bringraj, which are my two favorite Ayurvedic powders. I will leave the exact measurements as well as the recipe down below. I didn't film it because y'all don't really care. It's going to feel like hard and firm going on, but trust the process. Like I always tell y'all, trust the process. Take your time. Don't go ham. Make sure you get at the roots, all that stuff. So I'm done applying the Ayurvedic treatment, and this is what we are looking like. I did use a good bit of it. I still have some left. But I use a good bit, so of course I'm going to freeze it and save it for later. And it will last like a year or more in the freezer. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for an hour. I usually let this sit overnight, that is my preference. But I didn't have the energy last night. So we don't let it sit for an hour, rinse it out, and then we're going to continue on for the rest, to the rest. I got a whole master's degree. We're gonna continue on to the rest of the wash day. So, see you in a bit. Hey y'all, I am back from inside the shower. I did not take y'all with me today because honestly, it is just so much work and effort and I didn't feel like having a pool in my bathroom today. So I did do all of my in-shower things in the shower. Sis, 
when I took my cap off, my hair was so soft. It did not feel soft on application, but after that heat got into it, so, so good. My hair felt so, so soft. Then I went in with a co-wash. I have used this on my channel before. This is the Eden Body Works Papaya Caster Scalp Cleanser. The experience today was no different. It left my hair feeling super, super, super soft, but also clean. I will go on record to say that this is my favorite, favorite drugstore co-wash. Y'all know I like the Eden Body Works Coconut Shea co-wash, and I still love that. But I think I like this one just a tad bit more. I think you get more moisture and the smell is way better. Uh, smells so good, smells delicious, it's yummy, it's under $10, you can find it at Target, pick it up, you need it. What was that? <laughs> After applying the co-wash, I did go in with a DIY clay wash and it was okay. Oh, my hair feels pretty good. It doesn't feel super stripped or dry. But it doesn't feel soft like when I use other clay washes, but it's okay. If you do want to see my DIY clay wash recipe, definitely click the cards above and check it out. That's the one I would recommend you try out. First things first, I'm going to go in with an oil. This is my Ayurvedic hair growth oil. I do have a video on this. You can check it out. I like going in with oil at my scalp. The deep conditioner I'll be using today is the Main Choice Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Mask. Why are these names always so long? So this is what it looks like. I think they've changed the packaging since then, but y'all know how these companies do. It's thick, but it's not too thick where I feel like I need to add aloe vera juice, but I do have my aloe vera juice on deck. I can't really describe what this product smells like. It has a nice sweet scent, so I like that. It ain't funky. There's a bunch of different ingredients in it. There's Yumutanga seed oil. Sis, that sounds exotic. <laughs> I've never heard of that oil before. There's plum rosa oil. There's Yashti Madu root. Okay, okay. We're going over the boulder. There's a whole bunch of ingredients. I know most of y'all don't care. There's bring wash powder. Oh, there's Ayurvedic ingredients. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. I think it's been about two hours, maybe two and a half hours at this point since I rinsed out the deep conditioner and my hair still feels soft. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's so good. Now let's actually move on to styling. I was gonna use the Santa Naturals do magic leave-in conditioner but i've tried using it a few times and i just feel like it doesn't work that great as a leave-in and it's like a loosey can like a very loosey you know childish consistency so i actually went out and picked up a product and y'all know i'm not about that buying natural hair products life right now i didn't have any other leave-ins from target in my stash i did find a brand i've never tried before and it's the Miracle 9. This is their Moisture Therapy Honey and Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. No one really talks about this on YouTube, but it's like folly too. That was not planned, I swear. So we're gonna use this as a leave-in. I'm gonna seal in the moisture. I know y'all said that oils and butters are canceled, but not in my house. We still do the LOC or the LCO method up in here. So I'll be going in with the Kinky Tresses Nourishing Hair Oil, which I love. You can save 15% off using the code BCLH15. I have an entire dedicated video about this and I love it. And then to style, I hope it has enough holds. Y'all know me and these butters and creams and stuff. This is the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream, which everyone loves. I absolutely hated the leave-in conditioner, so pray about this. We're gonna pray. First things first, I'm going to apply the leave-in and the oil throughout my entire head. That just works better for me, allows the products to marinate before I go in with the styler. So let's do that. Just feels 
very weird on my hair. I feel like it feels weirder than the Sienna Naturals. So I'm gonna put that back over there to return it because I don't like how it feels. I'm gonna try the Sienna Naturals one more time. And if I hate this too, I'm gonna go and find another. Yeah, Sienna Naturals feels so much better. Like, I was talking mess about it, but it feels way better than that leave-in I bought. So this is what my hair is looking like. Sienna does give some definition off the bat because it does contain... Uh, Gorgum, which is, you know, like a gelling type of product or ingredient. So it does give definition, but it can also cause flakes. So we're gonna pray. Now let's go in with the twist and shout. I already know I don't like the scent of these products. Like that imitation blueberry scent. I don't love it, but I know this is like a staple for a lot of naturals. So you can't see this white. So we're gonna try this out. Nice and creamy. It does have like a little kickback to it. Oh, it feels really moisturizing. I don't really see any ingredients in this product. Oh shoot, I didn't test it. Mm. Do these even mix? Y'all see that? Yeah, no. This is gonna flake if I go forward with this combo. My soul is telling me a three strand twist, so that's what we're gonna do. This wash day is a hot <laughs> okay? So, guess who came to save the day? This is the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme Core Enhancing Moisture Butter, probably too bright. And I've talked about this multiple times on my channel. Love this stuff. I've raved about this so many times on my channel. At this point, Carol's daughter needs to run me a check. It's thick. It's thickety thick. It's so I missed you. I've missed you. I haven't used this in months. Because I've been trying to, you know, use up other stuff. Oh my god, I've missed you. All right, party people. I'm done putting in the twisting cream. I did 12 three strand twists. I'm going to allow my hair to air dry for like two days, two or three days. And then I'll be back for the takedown and for my final thoughts. So see you in a few days. It'll be literally a second for you. Now let's do a final wrap up now that I've taken my hair down. First things first, I did not stick my edges today. I didn't want to, I didn't care to, so I just did it. <laughs> the pre-pool was excellent. I will share the recipe down below like I said. I definitely recommend that combination of Amla and Bring Raj. It made my hair get right. The Eden Body Works with Pirate Caster, I think I've said enough. I love this stuff. I love, 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 love this stuff. Staple product. I love this since the very first time I used it. Love her. Love her. You need her. Now on to the deep conditioner. Honestly, I did not expect to like this. Main choice deep conditioners and I are kind of hit or miss, you know? But this was so good. Like, this was so good. Rinsing this out, my hair felt so, so soft. Did not expect to like this. But I do. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I do. <laughs> I love it. So good. Highly, highly recommend this one, too. This line is supposed to be for hydration, and sis was serving moisture and hydration. Yes. The Sienna Naturals leave-in. Honestly, I think the moisture could be better. I won't say that my hair feels crispy, 
but she don't feel succulent. She don't feel soft. She just, she just feels okay. This to me doesn't pack enough moisture. Maybe I would add some more glycerin to it or something like that, but it helps with definition. I mean, sis, the definition is sick. This would not be a repurchase for me because I do think it needs more moisture, especially for the price. But if you like a more lightweight leave-in, I would also recommend her, for sure. I think y'all already know I love my Kinky Tresses hair oil. I've raved about it on my channel. Love it, love it, love it, literally. I probably have just a few more uses because I've used it so much off camera. Love this stuff so much. You can save 15% off with the code BCLH15. Honestly, you need the whole Kinky Tresses line. And lastly, Coco Creme Bay. I've talked about this so much on my channel. And I actually forgot how much I loved it. Like, how did I forget you, bae? Sorry, bae. Because this is bomb. Literally, my hair was like, what? where have you been? And that's how I feel too. So good. So good. Coco Creme Bay is tops. Like, look at my hair. This serves exceptionally like anyway this video has been way too long so i'm gonna shut up i literally liked everything i loved most things and this was an incredible wash day i am out i will talk to y'all later peace bye y'all